We're on our way to Hallig Gröder, one of ten small islands off Germany's North Sea coast. Every day, Captain Uwe Petersen ferries locals and tourists back and forth between the island and the mainland. Voter turnout is generally 100% here, but still no top candidate ever stops by. I've never seen any politician here during the election campaign. The number of voters is just too small. As a politician, you need to be able to fill a marketplace. They want to reach as many people as possible. In fact, only 13 people are on the electoral list here. In the past, most votes have gone to the SPD and CDU. Political posters are nowhere to be seen on the island. The only thing hanging up on Hallig Gröder is the washing, which is the way it should be, says the local mayor, who has no party affiliation. We keep up to date through the radio, TV, newspapers and the internet. You won't find party political advertising or pictures of candidates here. If we want that, we go to the mainland. We're there often enough. Hands-on help is what they need, he says, not political slogans. The main issue is climate change, especially rising sea levels. These days, storms often leave the fields inundated. There's a danger that the island will one day be completely submerged. Mayor Mommsen is prepared to get his hands dirty when it comes to protecting the coastline. Dike building is laborious, but it has to be done. This is what he expects from the parties, he says, not just words. I think if the parties want to be taken seriously, they can't make empty promises. It sometimes seems like that. But I wouldn't want to say all politicians do nothing. The issue is being taken seriously. The second problem is the economic crisis. The island's tourism business is feeling the pinch as a result. The dwindling number of holiday guests have little spare cash, and the souvenirs in Monica Momsen's kiosk are staying on the shelves. She doesn't believe there'll be any tax cuts. After the election, they'll say what's what, and we'll see what we get. They say we need to make savings, but where? We haven't really been told much. Election day in Hallig Gröder is a pretty simple affair. The polling station is the mayor's house. This is our living room. On the 27th of September, it will be transformed into a polling station. This is where the electoral officers sit. This is our ballot box, which was handmade by islanders in the past. Voters put their ballot papers in there once they've filled them out. In contrast to the big election events on television, there won't be much going on in Hallig Gröder on election day. But voter disillusionment or not, no one here would think of not casting their ballot. That's probably because we're all active in the local community. We all have volunteer roles here. That means you get closer to politics. It's a communal thing. If there are elections and Mr. Momsen makes his living room available and only three people come along, there's no point. So everyone comes and votes. Many here are still uncertain who they're going to vote for. But one thing in Hallig Gröder is absolutely certain. By the time the polls close on Sunday, everyone will have cast their ballot.